Hey guys, it's Jeff again. I am going to go ahead and show you uh, the R8 spindle uh, taper function of this drill press, or this uh, milling drilling machine rather, um, and, and how to use it and how to adjust it. Um, one thing that can be kind of daunting to somebody if you haven't used a milling machine before is if you're only used to a drill press, a drill press is fairly standard. You know, you you mount stuff in, uh, these days, mainly keyless chucks. Um, you know, on, on a drill press, you have a, uh, a chuck key, and you just mount drill bits in there. But if you've looked at milling machines, you'll notice that the cutters are a little bit different. And if you've never used one, you might wonder, how on earth are they held in there? That's not a standard chuck. What do you do? Let me show you. What they, uh, what most milling machines have in the uh, the spindle or the quill is some sort of, of a taper and and a specific taper is, is made to go up in it. This one is an R8 spindle taper. I'm going to go ahead and open the top and I'm going to show you how things go in and out of this. Uh, if you can see up here at the very top there's a hex nut and what we're going to do is we're going to just loosen that. I've just left it finger tight. Everything right now is finger tight just so I can show you on the video. But um, it goes ahead and, and turns out and right now it's, it's free. Um, what this is, is it's a long rod and if you can see it looks like an extra, extra long bolt. It's threaded on the end and then it's got the head on the top that you turn. This actually goes all the way through the quill. And that is what holds the devices, uh, whatever it is, in place. And you can put a lot of stuff up in that. Um, there are all kinds of different cutting uh, attachments. Um, you can put different chucks in. This right here is an R8 spindle taper attached to a uh, adapter, attached to a uh, standard Jacobs chuck. It's a ball bearing Jacobs chuck, uh, half inch. Um, it's very large, very stout. Um, and right now what I've got is a hole saw uh, mounted in it, and that is, uh, that is for the, uh, the uh, latches for the doors that I'm, I'm about to uh, install. Um, so you can mount any type of, of drill bit in this chuck, and you can use it just like a standard uh, drill press. And that's probably what you're familiar with. But you can mount anything else up in there. Uh, this is a standard woodworking uh, routing bit, and I'm going to be using it on MDF to, to cut uh, uh, templates out uh, for routing uh, hinge pockets. Um, and what this is, is it's a half inch collet. I'm using a half inch collet as opposed to, say, a one eighth inch collet because it fits a half inch routing bit. If you wanted to use a smaller woodworking routing bit to, say, cut you know, plastic or some sort of composite or wood or MDF like I'm doing, um, you would use a quarter inch collet. But collets, you can buy a whole set of them, and they're all exactly the same. You'll notice that the tapers are very similar. Um, what they are is, and it's the exact same thing with the drill pre or the uh, the drill chuck. It they're all threaded in the end. So this threaded rod right here threads into the end, and it will actually pull the the uh, R8 taper up into the quill itself, no matter what you have. They're also both flat. Flat all the way down to this point at which they taper out. And I'm going to go ahead and move it closer. I have no idea if that's going to show up better. Um, and then the other thing is they have a keyway groove cut in them all the way up here. So that indexes it and keeps it from just free spinning. So you have the threads on the top to pull it up in and the keyway groove to index it this way. So what you do is you feed it up in there and it won't go unless you have the keyway aligned and then it'll go. Then you come up here and you turn the threaded rod all the way down in and it will pull that all the way up and the taper will catch and fit incredibly snugly. Now, if you're using like a, a metal machining cutter, uh, you know, a lot of people use just kind of cheap sliding tables and, and cheap drill presses and just chuck some sort of a, of, of a, 
of a, of a, a milling cutter up in that and try and use a drill press as, as a metal working machine or a metal machining machine. And, uh, and, and the results are never good. Um, you know, because the cross slide table has too much play in it, the drill press itself, the quill has too much play in it. Um, and quite frankly, uh, a Jacobs chuck is not made for that. It just doesn't have the precision um, and it doesn't, it doesn't have the accuracy of collets. And so generally speaking, a collet is what you use uh, to hold a, uh, a milling cutter um, in something like this. And that's what I'm going to be using uh, today to cut my jigs. Um, but you can also mount all sorts of other devices. This is actually a tapping head, also with an RA spindle taper. You'll see the, the threads on the end, the key way to cut long ways. You'll see the flat, and then the taper. Sorry, my lawn's being mowed right now. Um, and then mounted in this is, uh, is, is a regular cap. Um, and so you would mount this up. And let's say that you've used your, your Jacobs chuck to drill a hole that this tap would fit. Then you would mount this back up in there and you would just go ahead and tap out the same hole. And it's incredibly useful anytime you want to you know, cut threads and something. Um, you can use all sorts of other adapters, all sorts of other cutters, um, facing bits. You know, let's say you had a, a piece and you wanted to, to flatten the whole surface, you, know, you could put a hole like facing cutting bit up in there and, and, and an R8 spindle taper would work with that also. Um, so you can really attach anything you want to this. It's got far more flexibility than the Jacobs chuck alone, but it also has your familiar Jacobs chuck. Um, so that's really the way that you mount your cutters and your tooling into a milling machine and more specifically this Jet JMD-18 that I have for sale online. Anyway, that's about it for that video. I'm going to go ahead and make a few more videos of me manufacturing the jigs. Take care, guys.